Welcome to this basic tutorial on how MIDI remap.com works in case you want to convert your drum parts, MIDI drum parts to another library that uses another mapping for the notes. I have a drum part that's currently programmed in TuneTrack Easy Drummer, the basic kit. Let's listen to it first. Okay, maybe I want to go from Toontrack Easy Drama to another library and see how that sounds. Get Good Drums Invasion. If I want to use this drum part with all the stuff I have programmed here and I just drag it down here, let's see if that works. Huh. No. As you can see, this is the invasion mapping and now everything is messed up. We can use midiremap.com to convert the mapping um, of the notes from library A to library B. First thing you need to do is export your drum part as MIDI. I don't know how it works in your day, W, and Studio One is super easy. Call that easy drummer. Now head to midiremap.com. Choose your MIDI file. Then, in this case, we are going from Toon Drag Easy Drama to Get Good Drums Invasion. Um, and I've created presets for some of the currently most used drum libraries out there. You can always create your custom mappings under the tab Map Notes, but most of the time you might want to use one of those presets. I'm going from Toontrack Easy Drummer. This is my source. That's what the, the part currently is in and was programmed in. And I'm arming for Get Good Drums Invasion with the default mapping invasion. Let's load those presets. Now you can see MIDI Remap is smart enough to understand, hey, in Toontrack Easy Drummer, Crash 1 is a G2. But in Get Good Drums Invasion, Crash 1 is mapped to an E2. All those green highlighted background fields without an exclamation mark mean they can be perfectly mapped automatically to the same part which also exists in the target library. I had pedal close foot in easy drama is A minus one and it's going to map it to C2 because that's the mapping in Get Good Drums Invasion. What about the upper parts with exclamation marks? If you hover it, you can see this exact drum part does not exist in the target mapping, so we try to find a fallback. Please check if this makes sense and adjust it if necessary. What this means is Toontrack Easy Drummer has a mute sample for the right. Get Good Drums Invasion doesn't seem to have a mute sample for, for a right, like a right choke. What MIDI Remap now tried is find an intelligent fallback which sounds similar. So in this case, it used Simple Crash 3 mute which might replace the mute hits on the right well. Um, yeah, you can always change that manually if you want. You could say, okay, right, one mute is now going to be simple crash one mute. Um, yeah, there are going to be cases where you might want to change that. For example, if you have different tom, uh, different tom stack in the target or in the source library and MIDI remap might automatically map floor tom two to um, rec tom two, and you might want to use Rectum 3 instead, something like that. I've chosen my drum part, I've loaded presets, I've in this case made a small adjustment. Next thing is I need to convert it. Click convert. And there you go. Download your converted MIDI file. Save it to your hard drive. And now let's see how that sounds. Drag it on your invasion track and listen to it again. Yeah, that looks good. The kicks are right and also the fill works. Yeah, that's it for the purpose of this video. Thank you for watching.